we have but to do uh, other improvements uh, to this uh, field set mesh. For example, the AI uh, find the path. Uh, can um, sometimes, uh, for example, when uh, the pet is too long, can fail. Can fail. Uh, fail because the pet fin finder uh, has a finite uh, step of iteration. So sometimes when the path is too long, uh, the um, pathfinder can fail. So, uh, but you you can uh, you can uh, mm, configure the uh, max path iter iterations uh, for making uh, uh, the pathfinder. Uh, be able to compute path. Uh, uh, more complex, more uh, uh, path, longer path, um, longer paths. Uh, so, uh, what happens if the pathfinder fails? Uh, that the soldier we follow the path computed until uh, the pathfinder has been. Uh, break has been broken because uh, of uh, be because the the path uh, to compute is too long um, the pathfinder um, is uh, uh, um, compute the path until uh, a certain uh, until a, a given uh, distance uh, given uh, by the number of iter iteration uh, it it can do. So uh, when the pathfinder fails, it returns the path computed until that time. So we can uh, always make uh, the soldier follow a path, uh, even if uh, the path result is not uh, accurate. Is not uh, completely computed, uh, but in this case, uh, the pet found uh, event is not generated if the pet finder fails. So we have uh, to manually generate an event that, in any case, make the soldier to pass from either state to work state. So we can use the timer action and we give the pathfinder uh, five uh, five seconds for computing the pet if it fails we fire the winder event in any case so we add a winder transition where is the winder transition winder window window that always go to the work state so in this case if the soldier uh, fails to compute the path to the given further statical point after five seconds he um, pass to the work state in any case. Okay. Um, there is a way to improve uh, the turn back animation of the soldier. As you can see, the soldier when it when he turns back for following the for looking uh, to the pet uh, the animation is not so uh, pleasant okay uh, 
in the previous in one of the previous uh, uh, tutorials uh, we have talked about uh, the blend bidimensional uh, animation clips this is one of that case in which that cases in which uh, the uh, bidimensional blending animation clip uh, must be useful why we have uh, make the work state to perform test to the animation that we have seen it is a blend bidimensional uh, animation clip with the two parameters blend x and blend y and we say that the blend y parameter is uh, uh, a parameter that uh, control uh, that controls the um, the phasing uh, direction that control the uh, animation basing on the phasing direction of uh, the soldier the orientation of the soldier okay so there is an action in game machine that uh, uh, give us some information about the uh, AI motion system motion this is the get motion info get motion info give us the motion vector the direction of the motion the direction of the phasing and the angle between the motion vector and the phasing vector and this is this angle that we can use for um, uh, for uh, um, that we, we, we can use uh, as blend y parameter for the, uh, the uh, animation clip Uh, so we add, add a new variable angle of float value and uh, we uh, make the get motion info retrieve returns uh, the motion phase angle into the ang variable okay now we can use the angle variable that is the angle between the motion vector and the phasing vector uh, into blend y parameter the, uh, the angle returned uh, is returned in degrees so it uh, goes from 0 to uh, 360 so we have to rescale the um, angle so we we have to um, to um, to tell uh, to the animation system that this angle variable goes from 0 to 360 now if we apply uh, the new uh, if we apply uh, the, um, the new game machine we say uh, that uh, the turn back animation of the soldier will be more natural okay more pleasant okay apply as you can see the soldier movement turning back is much more uh, natural much more uh, realistic okay because because we have used we have used 
the um, blend we had used the blend bidimensional animation clip using the blend y parameter for blending between different animation basing on the direction of the basing on the orientation of the uh, soldier it tests the angle between the facing direction and the motion direction of the soldier okay much much more pleasant much much more pleasant okay now as you can see the soldier moves always between two um, the same two uh, petrol point uh, to give uh, a better uh, random uh, bevel uh, we can make a little modification of the of the game machine mm. we can uh, make uh, that after a given number of seconds the soldier if he hasn't reached the petrol point he computes another petrol point to reach so when he, he inside is inside the work state we can compute another oh, we can we can um, set a timer that after three four five seconds make the soldier turn back to idle state for performing another choose of uh, another petrol point uh, to reach so simply we copy this action into the and passed into the work state when five we say five seconds are passed we fire a uh, an idle an idle event we fire an idle event uh, either when the soldier reaches the target position in this case inside the range as we have seen in previous tutorials and when or when he, um, when um, five seconds uh, are passed in this case uh, the soldier or reaches the target position or uh, after five seconds he return to uh, choose uh, another petrol point okay we apply five seconds are passed he choose another petrol point okay <laughs> the petrol point are in a position that uh, uh, he make the same thing mm. we can place differently the petrol point um, the beaver of the soldier is very dependent of the position is dependent of the position of the petrol point so we have to set them in a way in a proper way 
ok we uh, also can uh, uh, reduce uh, the timer can reduce the timer in, in the work state we say 4 seconds now we see what happens okay go here and then we always choose different petrol points okay uh, the last uh, the last thing uh, I want uh, the last thing I want uh, the last thing I, I think I want uh, uh, to uh, say is that uh, uh, there is a crossfade time for interpolating the animations the animation clips between a state and another uh, if we want uh, the soldier um, blend uh, smoothly from the idle animation to the walk animation that is a dimensional blend animation clip uh, if we want this we have to increase the crossfade time of the standby animation and on of the work animation in this case uh, when uh, the soldier pass into the idle state and so start to execute the standby animation it blends in 100 uh, milliseconds it blends uh, the animation from the previous that in this case is test to the uh, animation and when it pass from idle to work animation the to work state it uh, spend uh, 100 milliseconds to blend from the standby to the test to the animation I think this is all uh, for now uh, thank you for watching and um, bye